Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I know that I have talked a lot about my Hobonichi and how much I enjoy it, but I haven't really ever showed you guys. So this is it, and I am really having fun with it. I've decorated some of the months, well, through the end of the year, and maybe I'll do a walkthrough. If you guys would like to see one of those, let me know. And then um, I also have my weeks that I'm working on, and it's just fun. So I have really been enjoying this. But I saw some people online have these jelly covers, and I love them. I fell in love, and I said, oh, those are so pretty. And Tracy was like, yeah, they're called jelly. And I immediately looked it up on Amazon, and I found these, and I thought, oh, goodness, that is so pretty. And I ordered them. They just arrived today. And Tracy and I were talking, and there were eight sheets that I got for, I think, uh, close to $15. So the sheets are... Looks like about 13 and a quarter by seven and three quarters, approximately. And there were eight different colors. This one is the lavender one, and then this one is just the clear one. And I told Tracy to pick one that she liked. She picked the lavender. I liked the clear one. And I'm going to try to make a cover for our Hobonichis. Now, at first I thought, we have these covers, and this is hers. Um, isn't this funny? <laughs> she had given me some pictures that she said that she wanted uh, laminated, and I have a laminator. And on the pictures, one was like a screenshot, and it had a picture of her at the bottom, and then her picture or something. I don't know exactly. But um, I thought it was hilarious, so I cut out her picture, and I laminated it just for fun. And she put it in the pin loop, and I thought it was so funny and fun that I did the same, and she put it in mine, too. So I think it's hilarious. We both have a little picture of her in our little pin loop. But anyway, this is her planner cover. Um, it's the exact same as mine, but I told her that I would make one for her, too, if she wanted me to. And, of course... She said she did, and at first I thought, well, you know what, I can just take these covers off, I can use this as my outline, and then I can um, make one like it and just sew these edges together so it was like that. Maybe even if I feel like I can make a pocket, but then I was doing it and I'm like, God, or I was thinking about it and I thought, oh gosh, that seems a little crazy. And then I got the idea of why not just cut it down so it fits inside of this. And then, so this will be still the cover, but then it'll have this on the inside as well. And I thought that that might have been a better idea. So it'll look like this. And then this will still be on the outside. So it won't exactly be like that because I still have my cover on here. But anyway, I'll show you. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. And then, if I do it that way, from what I... I'm measuring in my head. I haven't done anything real yet for you guys to see. I will have enough to cover. Oh, look at this. Isn't this adorable? So I, I will have enough to cover the micro um, happy planner. So I'm thinking that I will take one of these covers off and I will make two extra covers with what's left over, one for the front and one for the back, or at least one for the front. You don't necessarily have to have one for the back. Maybe I'll do one for the front and we can each have one of each color or something. I don't know, but that one's secondary to the first one. So maybe I should do mine first so that if I mess up, it's on mine. But we have the exact same cover. And there is kind of a front and a back to this. It's kind of hard to tell. It's easier on the purple to tell, or the lavender. This is the back, and this is the front. You can see the holographic effect a lot better. Now this one came kind of bent, but I'm assuming that it will work itself out. It's, it's just like a really, th well not even really thin, but it's a thin plasticky. It doesn't feel like, it's not, it's not rubber, it's not stretchy or any of that, but um, let's see, so I'm going to take a Sharpie, and I'm going to put this on here, and just kind of mark. Now I know that it's going to have to be a little bit smaller than this, because 
if I make it the exact same size, it's never going to fit. So I will go inside the lines to trim this. And then I think I will also use my crocodile and uh, round the edges. So let's see how this works. So I don't know, you probably can't see. <clears throat> oh, that's not clear on the back. I don't know if you can see where I did the Sharpie, but I just literally marked on here in Sharpie <clears throat> where I want to cut it. So I'm going to take my trusty cutter and line that up. And then I'm going to go about an eighth of an inch smaller than what my line is. It cuts very easily. I'm going to do the same thing on here. Here's my line. And I'm going to move it about an eighth of an inch. So it's not very much that I'm cutting off of this one. And this is Tracy's cover, but I'm just gonna see if it will fit. And it won't fit yet. So I'm gonna go at eighth of an inch increments and see what I can do. I think actually I need to do two eighths, which is a fourth because by the time I take both of these into account. Okay, so I'm gonna make the executive decision to go a quarter of an inch on both sides. Quarter of an inch there, and a quarter of an inch here. Now, if I need to cut any more, I will probably go at eighth of an inch increments so that I won't be cutting more than I need. Oh, I think this is going to work out. I should be doing this in mine and not in hers so that I can make sure that it works, but I'm going to have to take it out anyway to round the edges. But there we go. Oh, yeah, that works. So let's see. I'm going to try to measure this now so I know how long it is, how big it is. This is seven and three quarters by seven and one, two, three, four, five, three eighths. So seven and three quarters by seven and three eighths. And that seems to fit okay. So then I'm going to round it. And to round it, let's see. I don't know if this is the quarter inch or the half inch. So I'm gonna start with a quarter inch on my crocodile. And I'll just do one side. And I think that that's pretty good. I hope I don't make that one cut all the way through. That time it did. And there is a clear plastic that you have to remove from these. I already did that though. So if you, if you get some jelly, you'll you can see it though. I mean it's. It's pretty obvious that it's there. Okay, so I'm going to remove seven and three quarters by seven and three eighths. Is that right? I should have written it down. 
I will write it down. One, two, three eighths. So seven and three eighths. Seven and three quarters. It's actually a little bit longer than a seven and three quarters. Now that I'm looking at it again, I think. Oh no, it's seven and three quarters. All right. So I can use that as what I need to cut Tracy's. So I'm going to remove my Hobonichi planner from here. Have some goodies in here but that I'll just leave in there and this has to go this way make sure I had the right side stick that all the way in and then stick this side all the way in I love it already. And then I have Bean Besties next to mine because we are Bean Besties. And I thought that was cute to put right there next to Tracy's picture. Oh my goodness. And there we go. Oh, I love it. You can still see my stuff on the inside, but it looks beautiful. Holographic. I have a T here. You can still see that. Oh my goodness. This is from Frank Hearts You, my sticker and my paper. And I did do a haul on that, so hopefully you guys have seen that. If not, you can um, just search for it and it is there. Oh my goodness. I just love it. Okay, so now let me find this and I want to see if I can do two. I certainly can do two. So for this one, I want it to be just about the exact same size as this. So let me measure this real quick. If I went in just a hair, it would be three and a half which is fine. Three and a half by four and three eighths. So let me do that. Three and a half. Four, one, two, and three eighths. I'm just going to put this up here, make sure. I'm going to go just a little bit more. Perfect. All right. So this one is three and a half. I did it just a little bit longer by four and three eighths, and I did that just a little bit longer. One, two, three. 
Actually, I think I went to four and a half on this one. I'm going to leave it that way. And I could either, like I said, put one in the front and one in the back. Or I could sandwich it in there like that. Or I could give one to Tracy and take one of her um, purple ones. And then we'd each have two. There are just so many options. I'm going to need to round these edges. And I'm going to need to... I think I'm going to cut this. I don't think I'm going to punch it. I think I have a punch that might work, but... I don't know, I think I'd prefer just cutting it. There's only gonna be a total of about eight per, well not about, there will be eight per planner. I'm just coloring it in so it'll be easier to see. I wonder if I just took my round punch too. What if I round hold punch that right here? I think that would work out just fine. I can't think of a reason why it wouldn't. So let me see where is my round hole punch. I have acquired a ton of stuff on my desk again already. I need to clean it off. I was looking for my purple tape and I found that. round hole punch on. At least this one. <clears throat> Hopefully this one will punch through this. comes off pretty easily. There's supposed to be one more hole and I can see where it was, but I need to be sure. So let me put this back on here. So let's see, I also need to round the edges. Oh my goodness. Yay! It works. Oh my gosh. I love it. You could even use it as a divider on the inside somewhere if you wanted to. I would probably make it just a little bit smaller if I did that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Let 
That totally works. So there you go, guys. That's how you can do it. And I did this for the first time on here, so, you know. It really does work. I think I like the idea of doing the holes first. Some people have asked where I got this punch. I got it at Walmart. It was 99 cents. And I like it. And you want to be careful not to make the lines that you're cutting up too wide because if you did I could see it just falling right off of the pegs so oh my goodness I am loving this so cute I just need to round the edges and I'm using the quarter inch rounder for this as well I don't know, I might like to have it on the front and the back. But my back is kind of covered up because I have been keeping it in that thing. But this is so cute. So there's that, and there's that. Isn't that adorable? So let me um, show you what it would look like in here. I would take this one off and I just put it in here and this is what is this a uh, prima marketing com I think it's called the Sylvia let's see it came with this on there this says prima travelers journal and it's the little bitty one and I just fell in love with it from the ruffles I saw somebody with it on TV and I or on YouTube and I was like oh my goodness and it comes like this and then I had this little bow that I had gotten somewhere and I love it so I put that there isn't this cute so then now if I open this oh, and that's what it looks like on the inside oh my goodness and it's really easy just to open them both at the same time I don't even feel like I have to open this one and then this one I feel like it's together as one so way cute way cute so let's go ahead and make Tracy's and then um you know I'll still have this leftover there's minimal leftovers too so I don't know if you want to keep those for something or who knows whatever size yours is too yours might be different than mine I am going to make hers she has a little fold right here I'm going to make that part of the back of her so that hopefully it will straighten out I don't want it to be on the uh, micro planner because I'm afraid that it, the bubble won't ever or the, the little dent won't ever straighten but I think that if I put it in the back of the hobo it will eventually just work itself straight at least that's my hope and it's on the back so it won't be as big of a deal or if any of you guys know how to get that out let me know I'm sure it was just the way it was packaged and mailed I don't know uh, 
but let's go ahead and do the cutting. So I need to cut this at seven and three eighths by seven and three quarters. So, oh, sorry, Ugh. seven and three quarters. Measure twice, seven and three quarters. by seven and three eighths, which is here. And then the two smaller ones are three and a half by four and three eighths. So let's go ahead and do it this way. At four and three eighths. Four and one, two, three eighths, but I went ahead and did four and a half, that's right. And then three and a half. And then I went just a smidge bigger. And then three and a half. And then I just went to the next little line, bigger, just to make sure. Alrighty. And then I need this so I can put the holes on it. and do this one as well. One, two. I don't know if you saw what I was doing, but I lined it up not with the side I'm going to punch, but with the other side. That way it will be, the holes will be in the deepest to make this no longer than the front of that if that makes any sense hopefully it does so instead of doing it this way where maybe some of this will stick out the front maybe it wouldn't but maybe it would um because I'm not perfect I know that's surprising to you but it's true <laughs> so I'm just going to cut my little punches out I'm so glad that the punch works. I'm so glad that all of this works. I am thrilled with the way this looks. And if you just want some extra pizzazz to your planner, a little razzle-dazzle. It's really an inexpensive way. And it came with eight sheets of this, so... I don't know if you can find it cheaper. I found it at Amazon. I might link it below. But um, you might be able to find it at the hobby store. I don't really know. I've never looked. And again, don't make these slits too wide. could always widen them, but you can't make them smaller. All right, so then now I'm going to around the edges of all of the things. I don't have her micro in here, so I will have to get that.
Hey, Trace, can you bring me your micro for a minute? I'm getting her micro so that you guys can see that. You can see the cover on hers as well. So now those are both rounded. Then I'm just rounding the corners on this. Girl, you're gonna like it. So here's hers. Isn't that cute? We found those at Hobby Lobby, right? Yes. They were like just a little over $4 each. So very inexpensive. I was saying I don't need one of those and I was right. I really don't need one of them, but for $4, I needed one of them. Okay, so. <laughs> I was even saying, I don't know if you want it to be front and back. Oh, this would be cute. You could even sandwich it in there. Because you have polka dots on this side. This is cute. Or you could even... I don't like the rings, I'm not gonna lie. Or you could even, we might make it just a hair smaller if we wanted to. And whoops, well, let's put it. So that's, I don't know if you want it to be like a little page divider or even a pencil, whatever, pencil board. It would need to be a little smaller like the page. But, Ooh. so you need to decide what you want this bottom one to be. Or it can just be the bottom one. I'd say the bottom one. I don't think that. I hate those. Me too. <laughs> like, I don't think it's the cover that's making this. Oh, although I will say that. Oh, I need to cut this one just a little bit wider, I think. Um, I don't think it's the cover that's making it hard to move. I think it's just hard to move. Have fun. Thank you. I'm almost done. I'm just, I want to get a picture of all of them at the end. It's so cute. So she said at the back, so I'll just make it into the back cover. Now that one seems to fit. All right. I'm just looking at it to see if actually this one could be cut just a little bit more, just a smidge. good and then let's go ahead and do her cover cover now I don't have her planner so I'm just gonna have to put her cover in here and you guys are gonna have to take my word for it I won't ask her to bring that in too <laughs> but I'm putting her cover in here it doesn't want to go because it has that dent in it and then I will put it this way from my corner rounder. Gosh, you can really see that dent. I'm hoping that it will fold out when she has her planner in here. But that is hers, and I love it. And this is mine, and I love that too. I'm going to put my hole punch back where it was. And I will show you all of these things now that they are complete. There's her cover, and here is my cover. Oh my goodness. So those two are mine, and these two are hers. And I think it turned out beautifully. Now I could say, hey sis, I wanna swap these out. And you take one and I take one. And this is what this would look like, which might even be cuter for her. I don't know. I'll let her decide what she wants, but there we go. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you guys give this a try. If you don't have a micro planner, maybe this will talk you into needing one, just like I get talked into needing things that I don't really need at all. 
but it's fun and I love it. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy.